We're gonna start cutting some hay today. Uh, we got a 70 acre field of grass that needs to be dropped. So I'm heading out to the swather now. We're gonna make sure that thing's all ready to go and then we'll head out to that field. This is an M205 Macdon swather. I believe it's a 2014. And it's got a 16 foot hay bind header on the front here. It's got the crimper rollers in the back there. So there's a master switch somewhere on the outside of the swather, just to the right there. It's probably switched off, that's why this thing's not starting up. We just have a switch on this thing so that the battery doesn't die when it's sitting here for a long time. So we're gonna go flick that on quickly. There we go. So I'm just gonna pull up to the shop there and we're gonna get this cab cleaned out. We're gonna be using this thing pretty soon here also. JF stall chopper. Just got some new knives replaced in there. Some other parts. This thing's probably six or seven years old. It's pretty hard on parts. Gotta keep pretty good maintenance up on it. But what I came in here to grab is this thing. Make sure it's got a battery in there. Oof. These newer machines are pretty handy. Everywhere where there's a grease circ, got a little sticker there. Tells you how often you gotta grease it. Well, this thing's looking a million times better. Can head out to the field now. forwards like this we can get up to 16 miles an hour this is a dual direction swather what that means is I can actually spin this whole console around make the steering wheel here face the back of the swather and then I can drive backwards and that's dual direction mode and you can get going a lot quicker when you're driving this thing backwards down the highway but it's pretty sketchy with a header on there when you're driving backwards so I just figured fields close enough we'll just drive straight there but once we get out to the field maybe I'll show you guys later today that dual direction mode it's pretty cool that field of grass is way back there behind our field of wheat here so I'm gonna have to trample some of this wheat to get out there kind of sucks but it is what it is I gotta go down there and adjust the width of the swath that this thing's gonna lay out uh, we want it wide enough that it's still gonna dry but we still need that swath to have enough volume so that we could still rake it up and bale it. If you throw it too thin, since this crop is super thin, uh, we won't be able to pick it up that good with the rake and the baler. So we're gonna make it throw a tighter swath here. Should be good to go.
So I've cut the first full round around the field. I want to do a total of four, but I'm getting a bunch of stuff piling up on top here. I'm just going to reverse the header here. I just got to hold the button and it's going to reverse it. I don't think it's plugged. It's just keeping, just keeps on building up right here. I don't know why. So there's nothing in there. We'll go out and see what the heck is wrong there. So I got the shield lifted up here. And it looks like there's a bunch of dirt right there, right on the bottom of the header there. Maybe that's what's holding it up. I'm gonna go kick it all out, but I'm first gonna turn the swather off all the way because it would suck to have your foot down there and it for some reason turn on. Safety first, people. That's looking a lot better. We'll see if that did anything. But now that I got the shield up here, it'll be really easy to explain how this thing works. Basically it gets cut, the auger brings it to the middle, and then it goes through these rollers here. These are called crimper rollers, and they basically crack all the stems of all the material going through here. It's really important that all the stems of the grass or the alfalfa or whatever you're cutting with this thing get crimped or cracked. This is gonna allow those stems to dry up a lot quicker if there's a crack in there and um, you'll be able to bale a lot quicker. Instead of leaving this crop out here for four or five days, maybe you can leave it out here for two or three. And that's really convenient when there's rain in the forecast. I got my four headlands done here, uh, four rounds around the entire field. So now I'm gonna start going perfectly zero degrees north-south here. And uh, it's got the GPS auto steer in here. So I just gotta make the AB line. That's it right there. So I'll drop my header down again. Start driving along. Click this yellow steering wheel. And uh, it'll steer itself keep me going perfectly straight down the field. I'm about halfway done this field and I guess I figured out it's just when it's really thick it starts happening but I don't have to stop. It doesn't plug it up or anything. It eventually just shoots through those back rollers and um, it's not causing a problem at all. We're definitely cutting this on the early side and the biggest reason why we're doing that is because we have weeds in this field called foxtail and we want to make sure that these weeds don't mature to the point where they're going to see. This weed right here is foxtail. You can kind of see why it's called that. It's got a really rough yawn on the head and this is really bad for cows to eat. When cows eat this weed, these yawns, the hairs on this head here, are really spiky and when it gets in their mouth they can actually get tongue ulcers and this is really bad for cows. So by cutting this early we're not going to let these heads mature and this weed isn't going to be able to reseed itself in our field and we're going to continue to cut this field early probably for this entire year here, this entire summer and uh, hopefully we'll get rid of most of these. This swather is an absolute joy to run. Um, back down swathers are you know, they're known to be really good swathers. So this is the joystick here. Um, it's super comfy to hold all day long. And um, when I get to the end of the field, I just double click the header up button and it lifts the header up automatically. And when I turn around and then get back to where I want to start cutting, I just click the drop header button once and it drops right down to exactly where it was.
day now. I only got about 20 acres left here. Out here finishing it off. And uh, I was just cutting along here and I reefed back on the freaking joystick because I saw a duck fly up here. We're gonna go around those. All right, so we're all done dropping this 70 acre field here. And I just want to show you guys the dual direction mode on this swather. So I'm gonna spin this seat around and we'll start driving backwards here. Look at that. So this is what it looks like when it's in dual direction mode. The header's just behind you with the steering wheel and everything. It's all facing that way, so. It's pretty handy. The Swather actually lets you drive quite a bit quicker. It's got a governor when you're driving that way. This way it lets you go like, I don't know, 10, 15 kilometers an hour quicker. And uh, if you have a really wide header, like a big 40 foot Draper header or something that has transport mode, you can just drop that down in the field, hook it up behind you and rip down to the next field if you got a ways to go. Uh, we don't have the transport on our big Draper header, but um, it's handy if you ever need to go somewhere without a header, I guess, for us. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SaskDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.